Hi there, thanks for watching the Off The Hook Crochet YouTube channel. I put this video together to show you how to make a chain. This is one of the basic steps that you need to be able to do to crochet. Um, this video specifically is for a workshop that I'm teaching locally, and this is to help my students get comfortable with the basics before they come to class. So this is what we're going to be making. This is a foundation chain on you crochet in rows. This is one of the first things that you usually make. So I'll go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do is find the end of your yarn and you're gonna make a little slip knot. I do this by curling the yarn over my finger and just pinching it after I loop it over, pulling it through. I've seen a few different ways that this can be done but it's, it's pretty simple. This is where you're gonna be inserting your hook to start making your chain. So I'll do it one more time. Just make a little loop with your finger. Pull the tail through the loop. Now insert your hook and you're going to grasp your yarn and your hook in this, in this way. If you're unsure how to do this, if you haven't um, really handled yarn or hook before, I do have a video to help you with some yarn handling and I've copied that below. Now you grasp your knot with your thumb and middle finger and with your index finger, you're gonna control the tension right here. So what we're going to do is use the hook to go under this working yarn here. This is called yarning over. It's a very common term in crochet. You'll hear it a lot and you'll see it on crochet patterns. So yarn over and with my fingertips, I roll my hook down. That way I can pull the yarn through that little space. I just made one chain. So yarn over and pull through that little space there in the loop. If you do not tip your hook down, might end up you know fighting that loop to get the yarn through a little bit so just rotate your your hook so it works for you while you keep that tension the number of chains you make to practice really doesn't matter just keep making chains until you're comfortable with it the idea is for them to look somewhat like this uniform um, even tension that should look similar to a braid. So if your yarn is getting twisted, just go ahead and pull it out. If it doesn't look like this, just keep practicing. Uh, adjust your fingers at where you pinch as you go. Just move them up. And that will help you keep some control over your work. I just slide my fingers up as I go, yarning over and pulling through. Keep going with that, keep practicing, uh, get an idea for how to hold your yarn and your hook. Um, if your chains aren't looking like that, just take it out and keep practicing. And if you're having trouble with how to handle the yarn, go back and watch that video that I made. It's linked below um, the basics of yarn handling and hook handling. So I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Thank you.